Bienvenidos. Welcome to the 47th annual convening of one of the most enriching experiences in our community. The celebration of diversity and traditions known as Tucson Meet Yourself. I am Supervisor Betty Villegas, and on behalf of the Pima County Board of Supervisors and all the residents of our beloved community, I am happy you can join us. Pima County is a mix of ancestral cultures with lifetime and longtime residents and our new arrivals, all sharing the air, the land, and the history of the beautiful Sonoran Desert. Lucky for us, we also share the foods, dances, music, manual arts, and rituals of dozens of different cultural communities and folk groups, all of which call Pima County home. Every year, Tucson Meet Yourself, sometimes referred to as TMY, is our community's shared big tent where we discover, respect, and celebrate each other. Congratulations and thank you, Tucson Meet Yourself organizers, for adapting this year's 2020 festival to the new public health precaution guidelines. This year, TMY has reframed the event to include a socially distanced virtual experience that offers each of us an opportunity to be connected while remaining safe. There is so much beauty, strength, and resilience in every one of our cultural traditions, and I encourage you to join us in support and celebration of them all. Please enjoy all the offerings, and remember, we will get through all the challenges because we are Pima County strong. Welcome to this program, part of the 2020 edition of To Submit Yourself Reframe. I want to take this moment to thank our sponsors. Without their generosity, none of these wonderful offerings would have been possible. First, our major sponsors, Pima County, the City of Tucson, the National Endowment for the Arts, the Arizona Commission on the Arts, the Arts Foundation for Tucson and Southern Arizona, and the University of Arizona College of Social and Behavioral Sciences, and the Southwest Center. In addition, I want to thank our presenting sponsors, businesses that stuck with us even in these difficult times. Thank you to Cox, Tucson Electric Power, Visit Tucson, Desert Diamond Casino, and Chicanos por la Causa. Enjoy the program. Yes, in every word of our words, and words are the most simple. Chleb, mama, dom rodzinny i Wisła i Mazowsze. Jest w czerwieni maków i w białych kwiatach wiśni. W śpiewie wszystkich ptaków i w każdej naszej myśli. W Mazurku Chopinowskim i w czarnym węglu Śląska. I tu, gdzie serce mówi, że to jest właśnie Polska. Hello, I am Athena, and welcome to a very special edition of Tucson Meet Yourself. We are Laconic Polish Folk Ensemble, and we cannot tell you how excited we are to be here singing and dancing for you again. Although we may have some distance, we, are, we can't tell you how excited we are to be here. We finally changed out of our quarantine sweats and put on our costumes. Our mission is to share traditional, energetic, and playful Polish folk culture with all of you. Half of our members don't have any Polish folk background, and only a quarter of us speak Polish. However, all of our feet are fluent. This online format also lets us pay tribute to how much this Tucson community values its many cultures by rolling in some Tucson landmarks and other details into our performance. Today, you will see our dancers step up one pair at a time and bring their energy to the stage for you. 
usually we present a whole suite of dances, but online we have the opportunity to highlight each individual dance that makes up each region's repertoire. Dance serves a social role in much of Polish folk culture for fun and for finding a date. The village knows the dance, everyone goes out and does it, much like a Polish Macarena. Each dance is layered with history. We are so proud to bring this new take on Polish dance to you today. First, we have for you a series of dances from the region of Podlasia in northeastern Poland. Podlasian is a region with a lot of eastern influence from Ukraine and further. For example, in the costume that I'm wearing, the cross the cross stitching is characteristic of this region, but also farther east. Another characteristic is the chepka on my head and the embroidery on my vest. This is actually one of the richer versions of the costume with other version, versions using much more linen, which was a lot cheaper. Today, Brittany and Spencer will be presenting four dances for you from this region, much of which is their own choreography. First, a waltz from Podlasha, which showcases the beauty of the region's melodies and the smooth, flat waltz. Then we turn up the heat with a galloping polka full of stomps and tight steps that spin in both directions. Third, a cheerful dance that roughly translates to Little Stomper. Their final dance is an alberic, a fiery dance, and one of the most unique styles in Polish folk dance. Enjoy.
Lovera. Hi, my name is Jake. The song you just heard is titled Rada, or Advice, from an opera written by Stanisław Moniuszka, one of the greats of Polish opera, sung by our very own Matt Lichtenberger. The song features advice given from an old soldier to young men. He tells them that women are nothing but trouble, and to find a good, reliable horse instead. Personally, I would suggest they find couples counseling first. Next, we're going to southeastern Poland, to the town of Trevorsk. I'm wearing one version of the traditional men's costume, with a long linen coat and a fairly formal vest, reflecting the trade culture of the region. We'll be presenting to you a series of polkas, usually little ditties of dances, each named after even smaller towns in this region. Pay special attention to the last polka, the, the polka Trevorska, named after the village. It's known for being danced in five, to music written in two, to a constantly increasing tempo. Two of our very best dancers, Stephen and Amy, will present these colorful polkas to you today. Thank you. 
Ты Якуба, до Якуба, Якуб до Михала, пьешь ты и пел я, компаги отдала. А кто не выпьет, тего в адваке, вот от супу, вот от супу, тего в адваке. Пили наши праджаровья, каждый выпил шарел. Jednakłowie nie tracili, bo pijali w miarę. Kto nadmiarę pije, tego we dwa kije. Łupu cupu, łupu cupu, niech po polsku żyje. Pili nasi pradziadowie, nie tyli pijacy. Pili mężni pracowici, bądźmy też i tacy. A kto nie wypije, tego we dwa kije. Łupu cupu, łupu cupu, niech po polsku żyje. You just heard Alex Tchaikovsky singing the popular drinking song, Jake is Drinking. At the end, the song suggests that those who still haven't finished their drink will be beaten with sticks. Personally, I'd say more for me. Up next, you'll be seeing a series of polkas from the town of Zeshuv. Just 10 miles from the last town of Pszevorsk, the polkas from Zeshuv are unique and are very different from that of Przeworsk. Debating these differences seems to be a dance of its own in these parts. Patrick and I will be showing you four different polkas from the town of Zeshuv. First, the polka without a leg, or beznoga, then the bell polka, then the slow polka for a change of pace, and lastly, the squatting polka. W sobotę wieczór do rana Przy każdym jedna dziewczyna biedna spłakana Przy każdym jedna dziewczyna biedna spłakana Nie wyszy Jasiu, nie wyszy Jasiu, nie wyszy Masiu wineczka, masiu piweczka napiszę Masiu wineczka, masiu piweczka napiszę Ojciec mi zagrodził, oj którędy ja będę, oj do dziewczyny, oj którędy ja będę, oj do dziewczyny chodzi.
Hi, my name is Matthew, and I'm the artistic director of Lyconic. Our group is oftentimes focused on preserving culture, but culture changes and adapts and mutates in wonderful ways. I mean, dance does not occur in a vacuum, except for moonwalking, but that's beside the point. Every time we, as a dance group, choose what dance to put on stage, what costumes to perform it in, and what exactly, what permutation we do for those dance moves on stage, we are adding to folk culture and changing it. In that same vein, I want to present to you guys a per different permutation of folk culture. Two of our dancers, Mihao and Ellen, when they got married, they decided that for their first dance, they would do a folk kuyaviak. The kuyaviak is kind of thought of as the dance of love. It's done in three, and it's a slow kind of dance. They took what they knew about the kuyaviak, and they took of what they saw of themselves in that kuyaviak, and they created what I think is basically a new folk dance. Who's to say that in 100 years' time, folk dance groups won't be doing their kuyaviak on stage? So this kuyaviak is danced to music by the famous Polish musician, <clears throat> Wiesław Dimek, and I'm happy to present to you guys, for the second time ever, the wedding Kuyaviak.
nima tu rzekła co róż moja droga przecież masz majątek po co ci uroda inne bez majątku lecz mają urodę tam się chłopcy schodzą jak was po jagodę inne bez majątku lecz mają urodę tam się chłopcy schodzą jak was po jagodę Choć urodę nie mam o to się nie troszczę i men urodziwym wcale nie zazdroszczę, bo ta urodziwa nie jest pracowita, czy to gospodyn i pana, czy kobieta, bo ta urodziwa nie jest pracowita, czy to gospodyn i pana, czy kobieta. Choć urody nie ma ale czyste serce przecież Jakiś chłopak za żonę mnie zechce Urodo, urodo, gdybym ja cię miała Dostałabym chłopce jak jego bym chciała Urodo, urodo, gdybym ja cię miała Dostałabym chłopce jak jego bym chciała Hello, I'm TJ, and what you just heard was Stephen and Amy performing the traditional folk melody, Red Blueberries, which you can find throughout all of Poland. The song is about a young woman who is lamenting the, if she had beauty, she could have any boy she wanted. Her mother tells her, you have money. What would you need beauty for? As we've shown today in Polish dance, it's full of good advice. Next, Athena and I are taking to Opocno, the central region in Poland. Now you might notice that the crazy colors of this costume, we looked into this and the only explanation we got from the surrounding villages were that, I don't know, we just started doing it. So they've got spirit of fun and they also got the spirit to commit to their jokes. We'll show four dances today. First, the Chamblanka, which was invented by the national group Mazosha, if I said that correct, but is too much fun to pass up. Next, we present the Koval, a blacksmith with stomps imitating a blacksmith's hammer. And the shiv Shivitz, sorry, or shoemaker with movements imitating sewing that were really just an excuse to get close to your partner. Finally, the oberic from the uh, Opochno. The oberic from the word for spinning is a fiery energetic dance that is most beloved and characteristics dance from this region, literally the life of the party. Matthew and Amy will be performing that today.
Krakowa jadę z dalekiej obcy strony, bo mi nie chcieli dać dziewczyny ulubionej, bo mi nie chcieli dać osady na dziewczyny ulubionej. Tej sierokim gościńcem pojedzie busa wozem, jak mi cię nie dadzą, no to popłynę se morze. Jak mi cię nie dadzą posady na to popłynę se morze. Ej, popłynę se morze. O, utopię się wiśle, żebyś ty wiedziała posady na jak ja o tobie myślę. Żebyś ty wiedziała, jak ja o tobie myślę. Jak ja o tobie myślę i myślić nie przestanę. Przy tobie dziewczyno posady na na zawsze pozostanę. Przy tobie dziewczyno posady na na zawsze pozostanę. Hi, I'm Peter, and I'll be your mountain guy today. What you just heard was a song from the town of Kraku, just north of the mountains in southern Poland. Following in the tradition of great advice in Polish folk songs. Our singer vows to travel into foreign, distant lands because he isn't allowed to be with the woman he loves, travel restrictions permitting, of course. The dance culture of the mountain region is fairly different from that of central Poland. While there is overlap in song and dances, the dancing is done more separate, and the men show off with intricate footwork. First, you will see the Hajduk, a dance from the Zhivyets area of the mountains, performed by Patrick and Margie. Next, you will see a chardosh, a dance of Hungarian origin, commonly danced in the speech regions of the mountains. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hi, I'm Amy Robertson Schmidt, and for our final dance this evening, we will be performing in Wovich costumes from central Poland. Wovich is known for its extraordinarily beautiful embroidery, and it's also incredibly heavy wool costumes. We will be performing two of the national dances this evening, a Kujawiak and an Obedic. When performed together, the Obedic serves as the fire to the Kujawiak's calm grace. We'll be performing it in a stylized way, inspired by the dance group Mazovsha. <laughs> <laughs> 